Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy new release day. We got 2020 Topps Archives Baseball coming at you. 10 box, pick your team number two. Filled it up straight up, appreciate it. No fillers or anything. There you go, so there's 10 box two on the 19th, 2020. There you go. Thanks everyone for getting in. I was telling everybody uh, there's Twins and Cardinals, double last spot mode for Rhea. I was telling everybody that once uh, once we sell Jaspi's case breaks to uh, Spotify for $100 million, they're giving the ringer that money and they're giving Joe Rogan that money. I'm sure they can give us that money too. Um, there's a full case right here that I'm going to start my own animal branded adhesive company. Right? There's Gorilla Glue. There's Frog Tape. I'm looking at these Frog Tape commercials. And then I'm going to I'm going to start I'm going to start Elephant Tape. Yeah, you're never for gonna you're never going to forget Elephant Tape. Shouldn't it be Gopher Glue or Parrot Paste, Cougar Cock? I guess. I don't know. It, the the gopher doesn't doesn't seem powerful enough for my for my tastes. All right, there's archives baseball right here. Two autographs per box on average. All sorts of fun stuff. All these great rookies right here. All cards ship, ladies and oh actually let me switch back a second. All cards ship. And there's also these weird variations where they switch their team names. Tatis Paddock will still go to the Padres. Scherzer will still go to the Nationals. You'll see what I'm saying if we come across those. All card ship as well. So pretty good stuff. Good luck, everybody. I need the alliteration. Frog tape doesn't have alliteration. They're just frog tape. There you go. There's Mr. Sunshine. I get it. See, there's, there's Cubs. Let's give a little extra room here. Don't need all of you top loaders. I might need the bell. Let's slide that over here. All right. Oh, so Jared's saying I need the alliteration. I don't know, but the Gorilla Glue is too good. They, they already they already got that. What about if I'm? What about uh? What about Tiger Tape? Tape with the power of a tiger. There'll be an autograph uh, recap at the end, plus any lower numbered cards, maybe 25 runs or something like that. Just in the interest of time, we're going to kind of go quickly. Um, but I'll try to sleeve up as much of the obvious variations as possible. There is a great variation. Let, let me drop that link for you watching live. There's an excellent variation guide on CardboardConnection.com. So be sure to keep an eye on that. Since everything ships, you'll get everything. Um, You'll get everything, so be sure to take a look at the guide on CardboardConnection.com so you can see if you have ended up with any variations. That's actually half the fun with stuff like this. Archives, that's half the fun. Wow, Deswarm, that's next level. Deswarm's thinking, Sealant. You get two animals in one product pun. That's pretty good. I'm glad we're workshopping this. Sealant. <laughs> and the picture would be a seal and an ant? Or maybe a seal, but with ant, ant, antennae? Antennae? <laughs> oh, man. I could see a cartoon seal with little antennae right there. That's, that's pretty great. That's pretty great. I like that already. Sealant. Try our whole line of sealant adhesives on sealant.com. The only the only adhesive with a seal on it. And an ant. The only adhesive with a seal ant on it. Ah, I love that. I think I'm gonna go with that. I like elephant epoxy too. I'll give that to someone else. Uh, I'm, I'm tickled by seal ant. Yeah, yeah the royalty-free top loader is great. 
I'm in. It's a bargain. It's a bargain for the gold mine you gave me. Dust in my mouth there. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's fly. So these are all facsimile autographs if you're not used to these. And there's our first autograph. A lot of old school guys in this. There's Manny Sanguin, old Pirates catcher, going to Jason Price. I like these little minis here too. Those are not too common. Jordan Yamamoto. Marlins, that'll be for Jason S. There's Trent Grisham. I, I felt like that was a different parallel for a second. It's not. Everything ships, of course. I like these posters right here. So there's a parallel. That's a, that's a San Diego, and that's his National League. It'll still go to the Nationals, but it's a short print, which is pretty cool. And we got Michael Brantley, 175. So there'll be one, oh, I don't know if it's Trent Grisham, but there'll be one that says Washington on there. First, Luis Robert, rookie card. And that will go to Scott R. and the White Sox. I think someone was saying, was it Tyler Brenner maybe was saying earlier that as of right now, I know it's a brand new release, but as of right now, about 20 bucks a pop on these. Should be a handful of those by the time all said and done. Kyle Lewis playing some good baseball for the M's. Where's our second audit? There it is. We've got Bernie Carbo. Old Bernie Carbo, the carburetor. Teddy, what can you tell me about Bernie Carbo? What? Really? That's a good one. Nice, Teddy. He was, Ted says he was connected to the mob. Teddy's a Red Sox fan. There you go. Born in Detroit. Maybe connections with the with the Detroit mob. There's a big mob scene in Boston. They, they do the mob thing there. There you go. Connected guy. All right, box one in the books. Nice, this is pretty cool. So they're just kind of thin paper, but these, these will ship. There's nothing on the back either. Some of them have like folded corners and stuff just because of the way it kind of travels in the box. But fun little bonus to have. Mets, Armando with the Mets. Wow, 
Boston 128 to 101. Dis dismantled. Even Taco Falls getting minutes right now. Cruising. Let's see, I think we got a lot more baseball action happening. Casey Mize, ladies and gentlemen, made his debut. And um, so far, he's got three innings under his belt, four hits, one only one earned run given up, and five strikeouts. Five strikeouts. It's pretty good. In three innings. Unknown. What's going on? Is Boston three for three today? So did the Bruins play today? So Bruins won. I'm assuming, Birch, and then, yeah, Celtics won, and the Red Sox did win. Yeah, they are. Anyone have that that city parlay? All Boston teams win today. There you go, known. There you go, priorities. I like that. See you, Ted. Well, welcome back, Trey. How long has it been? It's been a while. I think Dane Dunning is pitching for the White Sox. I think this is his debut as well. Maybe not. Is it his debut? I know he's... I think he's a prospect too, is he not? Yeah, it is his debut, says Tyler. Yeah, Dane Dunning's. This is a pitching duel, folks. We got Dane Dunning has four innings under his belt, only three hits, no earned runs, seven strikeouts. Yeah, we've got a good old-fashioned pitching duel between some hopefully future stars. We've got Pete Harnish, Astros. That goes to Jared. Jared, what is your favorite uh, Pete Harnish story? Do you have a favorite Pete Harnish story? Nice, Trey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take your time, man. Glad, glad to see you back here safe and sound. No, no Pete Harnish story from Jared. That's the funny thing about archives is that you can, it really is an archive of of some old stuff here. So you, you get some 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 players where you're just like you're like, huh, that guy. Yeah, Jared's like, yeah, it's kind of kind of been a while since I've thought about that guy. And we got Harrison Bader. That's to 175 right down there. That's for the Cardinals. That'll be for Rhea. Was he the Jacob deGrom of his time? I, I remember the name. I don't remember anything about him. Might not, may, may not have quite been in my wheelhouse. There's Mark Wollers. I kind of remember him. Closer, maybe? Was he a closer? William Smith with the Braves. Yeah, he's a closer for a little bit right there. 39 saves at one point. There you go, right out of the archives. There's Will the Thrill. Excellent swing. My cousin's a lefty and a Giants fan, um, and kind of kind of used to swing like uh, kind of used to swing like Will Clark. Alzale, I think he had a had has had is having a great start today. Cubs won four two in the early late game early game. Yeah, Alzale went five innings, six strikeouts. 
One walk, no earned runs, two hits. So there you go. Cubs, Chris Miller. There you go. Nice, nice debut day. Was that? Did I pass by it? Sorry, it's my blatant, blatant anti Astros bias. Although he wasn't involved in it, he was fine. There's George Springer. I don't know. There's more. I'll find. I'll find one. All card shit. There'll be. There'll be more. This guy wasn't involved, though. He's fine. I'm rooting for this guy. Maybe not that guy. And we got a Luis... Aparicio to 75. White Sox. That goes to Scott. All right, next box. What else is going on in the league? See, sometimes you get that little bend right there. There's Mr. Smile, all that dentist equipment back there. <laughs> These are some good shots. <laughs> I'm sorry to swarm. That was, it was a genuine reaction though. You know I would have been, you know I would have been lying to you if I was super excited. The heart is right here, right on the sleeve. If I did it the other way, you'd be like, he's lying to me. He, now he's just patronizing me. That, that, that's not a real Joe reaction. Honesty. Hashtag honesty. Um, Reds. Shut out the Royals. 4 nothing. Shutting out the Royals. 4 nothing. Top of the fifth. Indians are up 3 nothing on the Pirates. End of the seventh. I had some small financial interest on the Pirates. Looks like today is not going to be the day to get their fifth win of the season. Rays and Yankees are tied at two in the middle of the seventh in New York. Mets at Marlins. Mets up 2 nothing. seventh inning. Tigers-White Sox. That's the game we're kind of eyeing here. Uh, White Sox. They're up one nothing at the end of the fourth. In Minnesota, Brewers are up on the Twins 4-1. These are all games on the uh, 19th of August. 2020. Astros are in Colorado. Oh yeah, they're doing this weird thing where, where in this four game set, like the Rockies were in Houston for two games and then they flew they flew to, uh, now they went back to Colorado to play two games against each other. I think Dodgers are doing that too. Dodgers play the Mariners in LA for two games. Now they're in Seattle. It's kind of odd. But that's pandemic scheduling for you. Rockies up one nothing in the bottom of the second still very early in that game. Rangers and uh, Rangers are in San Diego. I think same thing with them too. That game just started. Blue Jays beat the O's. That's the final. 5-2. Bird on bird action. Red Sox got their seventh win today. 6-3 to three over the Phillies. Cardinals beat the Cubs in the early game. 9-3. And then there was a makeup game, 4-2, and there's all sorts of crazy things happening. Royals 4-0 in the early game. Odd season. A lot of basketball happening here. We've got Clippers and Mavs coming up. All sorts of sports happening, boys and girls. So thanks for hanging with us and breaking with us. There's uh, Mike Pagliarulo. Kind of from, from just at a quick glance, he kind of looks like a poor man's Don Mattingly there. 
That goes to Dan Tyson and the Yankees. Jorge says he was a poor man's Don Mattingly. Just in all aspects, in looks, in, in statistics. Corey Seager's having a great season. There's Alzalea again. Great day for him. For the Dodgers, I don't want. I don't like that. What they're doing with that font there, the black on the purple, is not a good look. But that'll still go to L.A. Jorge with Walker Bueller. What in the world? That's that can't be intentional. Is that intentional? No way. <laughs> that goes to the Reds. That's for Arthur Peru. Yeah, Jared's do swarm thinking do swarm thinking I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. I think that's a factory, that's a manufacturing mistake. <laughs> There's no hole punch variation? Arthur, yeah, Arthur has the reds. Arthur, hole punch variation. Submit this to a Cardboard Connection. Tell them about the hole punch variation. Super, super, super secret, super short print. It's a super secret, super short print. And there's Willie Ademis, 34 out of 50. That's for the Rays, that's for TJ and the Rays. I'm serious, Arthur. Submit it to CardboardConnection.com and be like, look at this. Look at this super secret, super short print. Oh man, remember Mark Grezelanik? Oh man. Old old Grud Mark Grudzalonic. He was with the he was with the Dodgers for for a little bit, playing the old second base. There you go. Was he part of the the yeah Jorge? Was he part of the Pedro Martinez deal? The ill-fated Pedro Martinez deal, where the Dodgers sent Pedro Martinez to the Expos. And got back like Delino De Shields and maybe Mark Redzelonic. But but his his he's got a split season between in ninety eight. It's half with the Expos and half with the Dodgers. Right? So I don't know if I don't know if the Pedro deal was in, back in ninety eight. Yeah, maybe that trade was earlier. 
Ryan, hi. No, I, I did not. I was I was here at one o'clock Pacific, my usual time. Ryan, there's the Duke, Duke Snyder. Duke of Flat uh, Flatbush. A little fold right there, but it's gonna happen. These right, ninety three. I was like, 98 seems a little late for that Pedro Martinez deal. That'd be good for framing, I think. Of course. Why wouldn't you get... Someone else asked that question earlier, Jorge. Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't we send that? It's like a box hopper in any product. Josh S. saying, Grudzlonic was traded by the Expos to the Dodgers, along with Haram Boca Chica. And Carlos Perez. For Jonathan Tucker, Peter Bergeron, Wilton Guerrero, and Ted Lilly. Wow, what a blockbuster. Uh, I can't get anything by Ryan. Jason was live at 10 a.m. That's why. But I wasn't. Per Wikipedia, wow. I'll tell you, I'll, Josh S., I'll tell you my, my childhood stories about old Haram Boca Chica. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't have a Boca Chica story for you. I do have a Carlos Perez story for you. I think Carlos Perez may have won the, the first playoff game for the Dodgers since 1988, since the Dodgers won the World Series. Then it was like a dark, dark period. There was a drought. Long drought. And I think in like 99 or something like that, I think, I want to say it was Carlos Perez. Maybe made a start against the Cardinals? Maybe? Won a playoff game. The first playoff game since the Dodgers won it all in 1988. I think it was in the late 90s. Were you at that game, Jorge? Jorge remembers. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Do I have... I got nothing on Jonathan Tucker. Boca Chica was like a good utility guy for a second, I want to say. Don't have anything on Tucker or Peter Bergeron. Wilton Guerrero, was he Pedro Guerrero's brother? Like Pedro Guerrero's younger brother? He's either that or Wilton Guerrero had another brother, not related to Pedro, but had another brother in the league. It was Wilton Guerrero and someone else. Ted Lilly was, I, I, I don't remember Ted Lilly. I, I remember him more as a Blue Jay, not as a boy in blue. This is the regular Chris Paddock. Oh, Wilton is the older brother of Vlad Guerrero. There it is. I knew that there is some sort of, some sort of sibling connection in there somewhere. There we go. There you go. Baseball stories with Joe Jaspi. This is what you get in long breaks like this. In these hour-long breaks, you get a lot more time to, to to dive deep into some old stories about Haram Boca Chica, Wilton Guerrero, Ted Lilly, Mark Rudzelanik. Yeah, glue branding. You get all sorts of weird things in these breaks. Oh, there's A-Rod. That should be to 75. There it is. 22 out of 75, bottom right-hand corner, going to the Rangers. That will be for Jason S. So all of these cards will, I'm setting aside here, will sleeve. Uh, those, are, those will be top-loaded before they go out. And there's Tom Hankey. Anyone have a good Tom Hankey story? Your favorite memory of Tom Hankey. Max Chi has the Blue Jays. And there you go, longtime Blue Jay. 
twice a ranger. He had a lifetime 2670 RA. That's pretty good. Oh, he's a reliever. No starts. Still pretty good. Of course, these are facsimile autographs, obviously. All of your autos will, all of the real autos will be in blue. Like that. Oh, tell me your favorite Andy Ashby story. Does anyone have an Andy Ashby story? That goes to Jason Price and the Padres. Old Andy Ashby. I think he has, it's either Andy or Alan Ashby who has a nephew or a son that's in a recent baseball product. Is it is in the Brewers organization? Is it Aaron Ashby? Yeah, the old the Ashby family. Baseball royalty like the Boons. There's Scott with another Luis Robert. Right, Alan Ashby, former Astro. The old the old NL Astros. Was Andy Ashby a Dodger at one point? I don't remember Dodger edition of, of Andy Ashby. All right, next box. Oh, there's Blake Snell. There you go, Snell Zilla for TJ and the Tampa Bay Rays. Archives but it sucks that all of those autos are fake except for like one or two. Well, there's A, there, Ryan A. There's two autographs a box. They'll be in blue ink. And these are just old school. Like, you, you, are you expecting Hank Aaron and Larry Doby autographs and Wade Boggs autos in every box? No, that'd be impossible. This product wouldn't be as as cheap. It is. These, this is actually kind of a kind of more of a budget friendly product as far as some as far as a lot of these other boxes go, relatively speaking. If there was like 15, there's, there's like tons of these. If there were like 25 autos a box, imagine how that much that would cost. <laughs> just wouldn't make sense. And this is just a call, throwback to like cards in the old days where they did put those facsimile autographs there um, back in the 70s. No, you shouldn't be faked out, Ryan. Because because all of your autos will be blue ink. These are clearly black ink. Yeah, the old sets would put those facsimile autographs on there. This is archives, remember. It's calling back to the, the olden days. I think this must have been a... What year? What... What year was this? Maybe a 70s set or something like that? But you've been collecting archives for years, so you're used to it. Well, well which is it? <laughs> I don't think you have. It's okay, though. All right, next box. Let's roll. All right, and the autograph would never be on top, I think. I 
swear, once once I right side up these cards, I'll bet it'll be the other way at that point. Ooh. Ooh, what is that? What is that? Uh-oh. Jorge, are you paying attention? Wake up. No, Jorge's in the chat. He's paying attention. Are you seeing what I'm seeing here? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? It's Will Smith and Max Muncy dual autograph. Just dingers. Just dingers. Ding, ding. Five out of 25. Nice 1960. Tops combo dual autograph card. Nice. We'll set that aside for picture time too. Nice dual autograph. Yeah, those guys are pretty good. I think Will Smith didn't he tweak his uh, didn't he tweak his uh, neck or something like that? With him and Caver Ruiz supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, or he's getting dual autos, and all Arthur is getting is uh, all. Uh, Oh, Arthur is getting holes in the card. That's I'm telling you, Arthur, it's a super, super short print. What's off 1955? Stephen K. I don't know. How much is archives this year? I'm not sure. Ryan, you're the one that collects archives. You should know. Oh, 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 these are 19, okay. So yeah, so these are a 1955 design right there. Stephen K saying, there you go. The, the base version of it right there. And out of 175, that's Kettle Marte. 121 out of 175. That'll be for John McCall and the Diamondbacks. Is there a copyright issue here? Air Jordan? All right, we're halfway through the break, folks. Ooh, Aaron Judge, this is pretty cool. All rise. You think Aaron Judge's post uh, post playing day career is going to involve him being a t television judge? That'd be great. Welcome to New York Justice with Aaron Judge presiding. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, Birch is a uh, well, memory lane. Archives. He's saying, I like the archives. It makes me want to look at my old top sets. You have them all. 
from 52 to 2019. Nice. That's quite a collection. The old days. Kids you would put baseball cards and bike spokes. Let's roll. I'm dragging a little bit here, ladies and gentlemen. It is, it is hot. There's we've got the California sun blazing through that window. The AC can't even keep up. It's been so toasty here. We've got Juan Gon Gonzalez. That is to 99 right here with the gray border going to the Rangers. And that will be for Jason S. Ryan, you're expecting at least one train whistle in this break? That'd be nice. There hasn't been one yet. My advice to you would be to not expect a train whistle. We want under promise, over deliver. Under promise and over deliver. Yeah, the copy on the backs of those old cards are pretty fun, too. I would like to have that job for one year, for one set. It's like, Joe, you write the backs of the baseball cards. They're like, yeah, I'd love to do that. Kip, what's going on? Kip, Kip, hooray. And we got Reggie Sanders. Remember Reggie Sanders? That goes to Arthur and the Reds. Arthur finally getting more than just hole punched cards. Which reminds me, I gotta set aside that hole punched card for picture time. There you go, old Reggie Sanders. I don't remember him on any of these other teams. I feel like he's always been a Red. Wow, is that right? Arthur saying Reggie Sanders was a world champ with the Diamondbacks. Wow. Just one season. That 01 season. And he just walks away with a chip. Yeah, he hit 263. He hit 33 home runs. 263, 33 home runs, and 90 RBIs. That's pretty good. 21 doubles, a few triples. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Stuck in life routine, I had to break this. This is a good place to break that cycle, kid. Kick back and relax and watch some cards open up. Philip Mancy, thank you, Phil. Just saw that. Appreciate it. <laughs> Jared's wondering if. Uh, if Reggie Jackson juiced along with Luis Gonzalez and Steve Finley, probably. I just assume that everybody juiced. I feel like I feel like that's that's 
you know, one thing Conseco got right was when he was like, oh, yeah, 80% of the guys are juice. And I'd be like, yeah, okay, yeah. That probably was right. I think in his autobiography or whatever. Some of the other stuff might be exaggerated, but I feel like that era, it's out of 75, A-Rod, I feel like they all just did it. Check that, out of 25, 13 out of 25. I was like, sky blue, different. Rangers, that'll be for Jason S. There it is, 13 out of 25. Mm. All right, next box. All right, we got Big Boppy. Look how gigantic he is, just, just stepping over the center field area. Fenway, larger than life. Wow, both Mancini's doubling down on Jaspies being the best in the biz. Yeah, we hey, we try to keep things loose and entertaining here. I know a lot of other breakers can just grind through this archives break and not say a single word. But hey, we want to try to keep things fun here. I gotta keep it fun for me too. Try to keep it fun for me. Appreciate the kind words, though. That's intentional, you know. We, uh, from the beginning, I was telling Nick, you know what? The way we got to do this, this is five, six years ago. The way we got to do this is we got to make this like a live show, like a live podcast, like a live, you know, like a sports talk radio show. That's the whole vibe here. Anyone can open up cards. And that's not rocket science. But, you know, the thing that set us apart is, I don't know, being like, like we were kids. You know what I mean? When we were kids, just open up baseball cards and goofing around. Vanilla Gorilla, I think your next breaker should be a hot girl. No. You think we're, you think we're that stupid, Vanilla Gorilla? We'd be out of jobs in no time. It's like, oh... Show most entertaining breaker in the world. You know, bring Connie back. <laughs> Why? Where? Where is Cassidy? Enough with Joe. That's Joe's great and all, but we want Taylor to come back and break. And then it'll just be. Just be, just be a bunch of thirsty dudes in the chat. Just. No, I, I, we'd, we'd have to ban so many people. You guys would ruin it. Night one, everyone would ruin it. Zach Allen to 99. No, you're, you're stuck with this face and faces like this. And the faces at Chaspies, Vanilla Gorilla. And there's Luke Voigt with the, uh, with the cornfields on the bottom right there. That goes to Dan Tyson and the Yankees. They were going to play that game in Iowa. Kip says he went to SC last week. The University of South Southern California or South, South Carolina and found a blaster box of 2018-19 prison basketball in the clearance bin at Walmart. Box was beat up, but it was 16 bucks, 15.95. And you bought it, of course. Did you open it or did you resell it? I wouldn't blame you either way. South Carolina.
Opened it, no Luca. We've got Kevin Millar. Everyone tell me your favorite Kevin Millar story. I like the show. Intentional talk on MLB Network. I'm a fan of that. I'm a fan of Kevin Millar. He's pretty funny. He's entertaining. Jonathan Kent with the Red Sox. There you go. There you go, Jonathan Kent's here. You remember, he likes Kevin Millar. 0-4 champ. Another Luis Robert for the White Sox. I know, we've got to find some Indians for you, Kevin. Vanilla Gorilla says, Our Walmarts and Targets card shelves just been barren. Bare for months now. But Birch is saying, Always check the clearance bins. Got several Lamar Jackson rookies from packs that were dirt cheap. I've got a, uh, I've got a, a target opening, maybe at the end of the year, like a block or two away from me, which is going to be dangerous. It's a, it's one of those city targets. So I think it's like a, it's like a third of the size of a target, but I'm going to make sure that they're stocking, uh, that they're stocking uh, cards there. So I got to get in good with the manager and be like, you got to stock these and tell me when they come in. Yeah, that sounds about right, Ryan. Price point. Compared to some other stuff, it's a pretty friendly price point. And a lot of these variations, and I know I'm probably missing a ton of variations, but all card ship, boys and girls. Make sure you look at the codes on the back. Look at the variation guide on CardboardConnection.com. There you go. Out of 25, Shogo Akiyama. Mo. For the Yankees. Riffer saying a lot of online stories where distributors are taking bribes for delivering the retail box to customers. Are those verified store? How do, I mean, how would we verify them? Ryan is saying, my Walmart's only uh, 2020 Toss Baseball. You buy them there. And like those blaster packs? Sometimes you get what you pay for, Ryan. Or are they, where are they hearing it, though? Like, I, I'm sure it could happen, but... I was like, I'm wondering, like, how do they know? <laughs> Unless they're the ones doing it? Are they the ones bribing? you then one guy was at target and the whatever the rep is the ones that stocked it basically told them what are you willing to pay me to buy these blasters wow right because i think it's like a third i think it's like a third party right that 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 stocks all of those uh 
that stocks all of those uh, targets, right? It's like one company that that distributes and stocks those those things. I think it, it's a third party. It's not necessarily the distributor, right? Like GTS or Southern Hobby or whatever. Okay, okay, I get it. At first, I thought you were saying that it was like the major baseball card, the card distributors that were doing. It. I was like, what? <laughs> that would be crazy. That's not ethical. But I could totally see the third party doing it. Yeah, the third party I could see. That's a little bit harder to control. But yeah, one, once once the third party guys realize, oh, <laughs> you know, how much do these cost, and how thirsty are people for these for these boxes? And it's like, and if if if, if you're um, and if your target, right, right there you go, Excel marketing stocks Target and Walmart. So if you're, there's Trent Grisham to ninety nine. More Roberts here. And if you're Target and the distributor guy says, hey, we only have like two boxes today for you. Target's like, whatever. Put them away. <laughs> you know, that's not like a big sideline for them. So it's like it's like a drop in the bucket for them. You know, on relative to all the other stuff that they sell. You know, it's not like 4K TVs that were like that fell off the truck. All right, the employees don't care. You know, if I go and complain to a manager, they're gonna be like, for baseball cards. <laughs> so yeah, I guess if 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 you're that if you're that driver, there's Zach Ranky right there to 175. I could totally see that happening. It's Bob Wickman. Everyone give me your Bob Wickman, your favorite Bob Wickman story. That goes to Kevin. Finally an Indian. Remember old Bob Wickman? Cool, Ryan. Nice. He loves to blow saves. That's that's Kevin's favorite Bob Wickman story. Is that a candy? Oh, Whitman's is a candy? Must be one of those crazy East Coast candies. All right, Seth Brown, Seth Brown Band. That goes to Jeff and the A's. Two boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. Ultimate 7 sold out? Great. Yeah, I'm going to go through a bunch of orders after this, and we'll we'll figure out what that schedule is going to be. Unless something, something might have filled first. Baltimore doesn't want Dez. What up, Colin? Everything. 
Breaking everything tonight. If it breaks, it fills. Got probably a few more breaks after this for me. Sean Jaspi will be coming live at around 9 o'clock Pacific, around there. And then uh, he'll continue on for however many hours you want him to. Dallas up 40 to 26 with eight and a half minutes left in the first half. I don't. I, I doubt that 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 margin is going to hold, but that's what it is now. D-backs going. They're going to win seven straight. Are they playing right now? Oh, they they just started. I think I have. Uh, I think I have financial interest in the Diamondbacks tonight, Arthur. I do. Got Arizona plus one fifty-eight. Got Kettle Marte on my fantasy team. I'd like him to to do well. Well, I got lunch money on that. A little more than the other plays. Got lunch money on the Diamondbacks. We got Evan Longoria, purple to 175. Giants, that'll be for John McCall. Garrett Cole with the glossy front. 41 out of 75. Yeah, Mavs might be too much for the Clippers, Kip saying. I I have some small financial interest in the Mavs winning the entire and winning the entire conference, the West. I was like, listen, if Porzingis and and Doncic get hot. I mean Porzingis is special. Or, I mean, well, he is, but Don, Doncic is, is special. That guy could just take over games. He just win games on his own. And they could have won game one, too. There's Lloyd McClendon. Tell me your favorite Lloyd McClendon story, Jason Price. Oh, he, he won a Little League World Series. There you go. I feel like he was a good uh I feel like he was a good manager. What did I what did I get what did I get them at? I I I I placed those plays like a month before the restart. Here are my my Eastern Conference long cuz I I figured in the East it's going to be the Bucks or Toronto or something like that, but my long shots were were uh, Boston plus 600 to win the East. Uh, Miami to win the East at plus 1,800. And then for the West, I figure Lakers or Clippers are going to win it, obviously. But, ooh, nice little mini Jorge Soler. Um, but I saw a lot of value in Houston at plus 1,000. And Dallas plus 2,000 to win the West, the Western Conference to go to the finals, basically, I guess. 
Well, yeah, I think they stopped being a long shot after plus 600. I think the price probably went down on that quickly by, by the time the restart happened. Mini Jorge Soler goes to Luke Ryan in the Royals. There you go, Luke. But again, I, I, I put uh, I put plays on these like a month before the restart. I was just excited. And I was like, yeah, let's make some plays. And I never do futures plays. It's thirsty for a little action. Pete Harnish again for Jared and the Astros. This time 105 out of 150 right here. Good call on your Rockets, says Jared. Yeah, I mean... James Harden, the way he plays, he got he just got three months off. He's got a lot of rest. So I thought I thought that was that was an interesting play. Like I'd I'd give it a shot, you know what I mean? I know, Lake I that Lakers LA is in sports fans in LA. Lakers fans in LA are in full meltdown mode today, Kevin Wise. You should hear sports talk radio today. I used to have heard sports talk radio post game show when I was driving home last night. You know, a lot of people yelling at Vogel. A lot of people talking about, you know, Anthony Davis being a little too passive. A lot of people talking about, you know, why wasn't, why was Caruso in? Why wasn't he in? Why this, that? Yeah, everyone was panicking. It's just one game. It's just one game. But yeah, the bubble does change a lot, Kip and Kevin. I agree with that. I think it's really interesting, especially for road teams, the quote-unquote road teams, right? Like Orlando's not going into Milwaukee, right? If this game was in Milwaukee, you think Orlando wins game one? No, I don't think so. I mean, if the Lakers were, if, if the Trailblazers were in LA, you know, and Stable Center, game one rocking, you think the Lakers come out flat, game one? Post game was really interesting, too. All the reporters were kind of dancing around that a little bit. They're like, LeBron, did you feel the same energy you would have if this was a non bubble playoff game? And, you know, LeBron was pretty bristly about that. Same with. Same with Anthony Davis and Coach. They're like, oh no, we were totally, we were all there. We were intense. You know what I mean? You know, so. But yeah, I mean, I watched, I watched, I was breaking. That's right, yeah. Clippers got nothing. No finals appearances for the Clippers. Jason Jaspi's pointing that out. Just give him none. Yeah, little little brother get none. Just send just send the Clippers to Seattle and turn them into Supersonics. I don't even want them here. What a waste. I don't know. If, I don't know if LeBron was blaming the bubble. I think he was saying, "Hey, I had the same had the same amount of energy I would have." If this was a playoff game with fans. But yeah, but they looked flat. I was kind of half watching the game. I think I watched most of the fourth quarter. Um, I was breaking during the game yesterday, so I was kind of only half watching, but I watched all of the fourth quarter. They're just flat. Vanilla Gorilla, do they say player worn? Slash used on the back of the card instead of game used now? Depends. If it's event worn or, or non game used, then it will say player worn or player used or event worn material. But if it's game used, it'll still say game used. All right, last box. Thanks for bearing with me here, folks. Definitely dragging here a little bit, but. Sort of towards the end of my shift here, and it's it's toasty in here. Believe it or not, the studio is a little toasty. 
dragon a little bit here. There's Gary Carter to 99. I wonder if the AC is even working. And there's old Darren Erstad. Sean. <laughs> Sean Jaspi, a big Angels fan. Sean, tell me your favorite Darren Erstad story. Is he pretty much a lifetime angel? Yeah, he was with the Angels. Ninety six to did he win chips? In down in Oh yeah, he dead, did. Dead center field. Dirt I'm gonna Google it right now. <laughs> oh he's so he, I, I I pulled the Darren string. Erstead, I pulled the, the string, he's ready to go. Is it an auto? Oh yeah. Oh. That goes to uh De York and the Angels. Oh that's so cool. I don't think he was I think he wanted someone else. Oh, well, it's York. <laughs> but probably Trout, but... <laughs> well, I get why we'd want Trout, but Darren Ur said... Man, Sean ran in here. He's fired up. I remember Darren Ur He was really solid. Dude dude had a... He is a lifetime 282 hitter, by the way. BT dubs. Did he hit 355 with the 2000 Angels? Did he win a batting title that year? He must have. Yeah, in 157 games, 676 at bats, he hit 355. Dude, that was his best season. 25 home runs and 100 RBIs. He never had that ever again. Did the Angels win in 2000? 2002. 2002. He did nothing in 2002. Oh, hey. I'm looking at it right here. Erstead leads off eighth <laughs> inning with home run in World Series 2002. The World Series that no one remembers. Yeah, the one that the Angels won. What about the Dodgers? <laughs> No one remembers. Everyone talks about 88. No one talks about the Angels World Series. I remember the Diamondbacks the World Series thing, more than I do the, the Angels World Series. The only thing people talk about with 88 is how long ago it was. And, and how how, people, how just legendary it how was. How many people weren't born Wait, What's time? the signature moment of that Angels World Series? It's like Barry Bonds' shows, kids running out onto the field. Like that's the only thing I remember from that. Point. Do, the Diamondbacks like, won a World Series. Alive. Diamondbacks won a World Series, and there was iconic moments in that Dodgers one. Fans, iconic moments in that one. 90% of Dodgers fans weren't even alive the last time they mm, won a World Series. Right, right. See? At least Dodgers have fans. See? A long history of fans from Brooklyn to L.A. What fans? do the Angels have? Gene fans? Autry, Lonnie Smith, William Smith, getting Lonnie Smith. Just saying. Gene Autry. Just saying. You guys... Right? Some cowboy running your team? Well, these... These posters are the so posters cool. are sweet, right? Look at look at look your, at Mike Trout look with at the your, asteroid hitter. Look at your Trout. That, that's a meteor. Look, Milver meteor. Not Shit. an asteroid. I'm an idiot. You're dumb. I'm an idiot. <laughs> that is so cool. It is cool. I if I would frame, I, I would, would totally I would get frame that in it. a. Uh, pop that baby in a frame, right? Wow. Do they have cool. a Do they have a, a flashback one to the 1988 Dodgers World Series victory? Stop! Stop! stop. Come on. Get the f out of here. It is archives. That shit's dusty as hell. <laughs> At least it's memorable. They yeah. had to use... Ketchup. You guys remember the Angels winning a World Series? What's the iconic moment in the Angels winning the World Series? The Did win. Trout win it? No, no, Trout wasn't the there. Win. Just the win itself. <laughs> No one. Just when I watch it, Pandemic MLB Network was ranking World Series. That was not even on the What list. about Troy Percival? No. With the Troy pop -up. Percival. With the pop -up. You're dropping yeah. Troy yeah, Percival last, out there. Last out, pop up to right field, catches it. I think Erstad actually caught the last out, I think. Either that or it was Garrett Anderson. That's it. That all, that's all he has now. I want to say it was Erstad. Mean, in center field. Meanwhile, meanwhile the Angels are just wasting away Trout's Hall of Fame career. He'd be wasted on the Dodgers. It, you guys he haven't he would have at least played in a World Series. He would have at least lost World Series games with the Dodgers. He's not even in the playoffs. He played one playoff series. He could have lost two he's World not, Series. He's not going to be in the playoffs in the next five years. He could have lost two World Series. It's a goddamn shame that Guess Mike what? Trout... Whether he's a loser with the Angels or a loser with the, the Dodgers, we're both losers. Well, that's true. <laughs> we're both losers. If you're not winning World Series... You're losing. If not, if you're not first, you're last. That's what it is. I get it. I get that. He's got me there. Robin Yount, 24 out of 25. That'll be for the Brew Crew. That's gonna go to Josh Pruce. Yeah, I apologize for the uh, for the cursing there. I apologize to my lord. Let's see, my Methodist grandfather would not be happy. Preacher. Grandfather would not be happy with such language. God rest his soul. 
There's a quick recap, ladies and gentlemen. That was Pick Your Team 2. All 10 boxes. I apologize for the cursing at the end. <laughs> I apologize for dragging on this one. I, I'm definitely dragged on this one. I apologize about that. But it's kind of a long break. And we got that nice dual autograph. And the best thing here, the hole punch Trevor Bauer. Look at that. Got a hole punch right in there. What's up with that? Super short print, I think. Super, super secret short print. That was for Arthur and the Reds. There you go. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you later.